Welcome to American Medicine Today. I'm joined by Paul Gilbo and Chris Cusino, founder of Bogiere. It's a body sculpting institute in Largo, Florida, where they focus on full body wellness. There's a lot of good stuff they're mm -hmm. going to show us today, including uh, including cryotherapy, which I'm excited to yes. jump in and get down to negative 200 some odd <laughs> degrees. Mm -hmm. um, and you have all kinds of other really cool stuff you're going to show yes. us, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We'd love to come and show you everything we have. All right. Let's get started. Let's do it. So basically, now that we have all your information here, what we're going to do is we're going to take a photo. It's going to go to your file, and then we'll start um, taking your measurements, your weight, and then we'll get a reading out for body fat percentage. So in the measuring room, they take measurements of your height, your weight, right. your outer shoulders, upper and lower chest, your midsection. This is where the love handles come into play. <laughs> your waist, your upper thighs, measure your heart rate. Uh, it'll give station an idea of what type of protocol we're gonna go to be able to accomplish what you were looking to accomplish. They also calculate your body fat percentage and suggest the amount of weight you need to lose. We wanna try to reduce the body fat contents on the body by 15.7 kilograms. Mm. Roughly 35 pounds. Wow, okay. 35 pounds. <laughs> it makes you feel self-conscious like you're being measured for clothes. Actually, it's fairly similar. They use this plan to come out with a workout regimen, and that will be specific to you. So anytime you come into Fogiere, you put in your card, and it will tell you exactly what needs to be done while you're there. It's making a recommendation of 4.9 kilos, so that's roughly 12 pounds. I have to lose more <laughs> weight than Kimberly does, Correct. right? Uh -huh. But for some reason, she has more recommended sessions where I had 19 and she had 25 and her cost is more than mine. Why the, is that? Uh, remember, it's going to go by body type it's, uh, and it's also going to go by resulting treatment. Everyone has a, a different type of um, you know, body fat on them or they're trying to treat cellulite as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's also based on the measurements and where, you know, yeah. where it's saying it's, it's to be ideal. After you, being flabbergasted with how much weight I still had yet to lose, it does factor in clothes, right? I was ready to try these machines. <laughs> All right. Now what? We're Let's off go to the get races. our game on. Let's do it. So after we have them take our measurements, our next stop is the tone-up room. The intensity mm -hmm. and the length of the contraction of the muscle is what we're, we're simulating to be in the gym. Okay. So having no weight whatsoever, but you're still getting mm -hmm. the same type of contraction you were if you were doing resistance training. So basically you're using the, the sonogram to, break, to break it all up. To break up fat cells and, and destroy them. They are gone. So, so we're not, not just puncturing them. It's not similar to laser therapy where the laser light's going through, puncturing a hole in it mm -hmm. and draining it. We're actually destroying that fat cell and then eradicating it from the body. And you're using radio frequencies to direct it towards... Ultrasound cavitation, then radio frequency to direct it towards a lymphatic drainage site, whether that be in the bladder, whether that be mm -hmm. on the top of the butt, in the back of the knee, wherever the closest site is to the area that we're working on. So that's the tone-up room. Mm -hmm. What's next? This is the tone-up room. This is the drain-out room. Full body, pneumatic pressure massage suit that forces upper and lower body lymphatic drainage. It's a pressure massage suit. We call it Slim Up Drain. Uh, it's going to give you a pressure massage, but it also forces uh, manual lymphatic drainage. With varying pressure of 40 to 85 PSI, you can feel like a nice light massage to something like a deep <laughs> tissue right. massage. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's almost like getting your blood pressure taken, except it's like a big your blood whole pressure machine. Your whole body. Across your whole body. <laughs> and it's actually really tight. It reminds me of those straps that they use to take your blood pressure. Yeah, now I can feel it around my ankles, my feet. It gets really tight to the point of almost being uncomfortable, but then it releases and it feels relieving. And so I guess that is the whole reasoning behind using the pressure to drain out the lymphatic system. And so for the upper body, it's that one on the wall yeah. behind Paul, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Now I feel my... Now it's going to start to pump out your legs. Yeah. And the first round is mostly a fill. What it does is it builds a pressure and it gets like a level pressure all along and then it'll start doing mm -hmm. each cuff and going to town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what does it feel like? Uh, I mean, it feels like, it really does feel like a blood pressure cuff, but it's actually pretty, pretty pleasant mm -hmm. <laughs> on, on my calves and yeah, yeah. Or right. my calves now and on my thighs. It's, it's a, it's a nice yeah. It's like just pressure. enough pressure. Yeah. Yeah. This is all well and good, but I'm very excited about our next stop, the cryo chamber. 
With temperatures that go well below negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit, this is the cryo chamber. That's right now, anything over two minutes is suitable, uh, but you want to try to make it to three minutes if you can. <laughs> Your body will create a thermogenic effect to heat itself up and burn roughly 600 calories. I'm, I'm shaking. It's I am a, utterly shaking. I feel like my teeth are chattering. <laughs> um, I think they're starting to actually. It's shivering and I think I've lost feeling in my legs. <laughs> <laughs> that quickly? Oh, yeah. Now, wait, you, wait until you try. Is that unlike any cold you've ever experienced? Yes, yeah. at least dressed the way that I am. <laughs> you've never done the polar bear club? No. 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 All right, so we're in the countdown. Where are we? The two minutes, so. I'm trying to like dig down and find that inner strength to stay in until you beep. Gotta you've reached the two minutes, so anything you can make past this is uh, sufficient. Ooh. It's worth it. You say that till you dress the way you are. That's true. Two, right. one. Wow. I was very interested in this because I follow a lot of athletics and this reminded me of the ice baths that athletes use, except this uses liquid nitrogen and gets much colder. I mean, having jumped into, like I said, having jumped into really cold lakes that uh -huh. were essentially frozen, while this is really cold, it's nothing like that. So it's not that it's stinging, a, piercing. Yeah, it's more of a dry cold rather than a Michael. Uh, now that I'm out, I yeah. I can relate to what you were saying. I mean, mm -hmm. it's an immediate sort of relief. relief. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually don't even feel that. I mean, I'm still cold. I literally just got right. out, but I don't mm -hmm. feel that bad. Right. right, now. right. You know, it, it feels pretty good. It's pretty stimulating. Yeah. It's good. Stuff. So how long well, is it going to take her to warm I'm back up? What we're going to do is we're going to use the steam, the sum up steam machine. Okay. Uh, we'll start her on the infrared lights to start warming her and then we'll put her under some steam. Uh, it gets up to 180 degrees in there so it's going to help you bring that blood back into, okay. uh, into those vessels. Wow. Ethan, I don't know about you, but after that I am frozen solid. I'm heading to the steam room. So the steam room is heated by infrared. Temperatures are up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so you can see you'll get a nice warming effect. I'm feeling great. Yeah. And I have to say, you're so, at least for me, I was so tense yes, yeah. in there because I was so cold you, yeah, yeah. that when you come out, you do feel refreshed. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting in here happy as a clam. <laughs> you look like you're sticking out of a clam. You're like yeah. the, the pearl in a clam. Believe it or not, though, I'm still feeling my legs, and my legs are still cold, cold yeah, yeah. but wow. they are slowly... So so really really yeah. You're, yeah. you're thawing out. Exactly. All right, nice. this is cute, but enough of this. Let's go check out the Vibrastep HyperVibe. The Vibrastep is pretty interesting. It uses up to 17 Gs. That's 17 times the pull of gravity. Okay, I'm getting ready. So 5.4 Gs uh -oh. at 27 hertz <laughs> for one minute. There you go. Your hands are vibrating too, right? Yes, yeah. everything. Is that hard? Difficult? You feel it kind of in your lower back too. It's interesting. The system jiggles you all around, and I know that sounds funny, but as you try to talk, your voice is shaking all over the place. <laughs> Tell us how hard it is. It's very hard. <laughs> you feel your arms flapping, your jaw. <laughs> it's like it's flapping. Your jaw's flapping. <laughs> oh wow, Kimberly, you should check this out on camera. It's almost slowed down where you can see the ripples going through your leg. It's ridiculous. All right, you get up here and try it out so I can see how this works. How does it feel, Ethan? <sighs> Tiring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same, is it, as doing a... Uh, <sighs> yeah, it's definitely... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It you know, feels you can, weird. You can feel it, it all through like your arms. Yes. Yeah, yeah. In your nose. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. why I was saying it's it really felt like amazing. my jaw was... Yeah. Like your jaw was yeah. flapping. <laughs> All right, Kimberly. Well, there's one more stop. It's the silk peel, which I'm not interested in. So I'm going to step out for this one let you take over. So the silk peel is a combination of dermabrasion and infusion. First, we remove makeup. They remove the toxins and it opens the pores. No. They inject fluid and then they suck it out. So they're really trying to dig down into your pores and pull out any debris. And how often should someone go through a treatment like this? If you're doing it just for maintenance, you can do it once a month. If you're doing it for treatment, mm -hmm. then I would recommend, um, depending if it's acne or if it's pigmentation, 
two to three weeks apart. Then there's the hydration and exfoliation, and that's what I went through. It feels very relaxing. In fact, I could have fallen asleep. This, this is it, and I feel like years of dirt and grime off my face. And now I'm ready to tackle the rest of my day. Well, thank you, Chris and Paul, for showing us around Foggiare. <laughs> Very good. Foggiare. That's the way. Absolutely. Yes. Well, Chris, thanks for your expertise. Absolutely. Thank you guys for coming out today. All right. There you have it. Well, make sure you stay tuned because coming up after the break, you're going to see remarkable results in our Back to Life segment.